Welcome to our Excel VLOOKUP tutorial. In this video, we will be covering the fundamentals of VLOOKUP, a powerful function that allows you to search for data within your Excel spreadsheets. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced Excel user, this tutorial will provide you with a solid foundation for understanding and using VLOOKUP effectively. Before we dive into the details, let's start with the basics. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup, and it's one of the most commonly used functions in Excel. It enables you to search for a specific value in the leftmost column of a table and retrieve a corresponding value from a specified column in the same row. So first of all, let us generate some random data for this topic. Here we have some marks for different students. In order to generate we will use random between function. For that type equal sign, then type rand, between then parentheses open, minimum value, let's say 20, then after comma type maximum value, like here 99, parentheses close. Press enter. Now extend this formula for row by dragging the lower right corner of this cell. Then same for whole table. Now copy this whole formula range, then right click, then paste special. Then select values. Click OK. Now formula will be removed and marks as values will be shown. Now also drag these cells for total or sum, percentage, pass or fail status and grade formulas. If you want to watch tutorial for these formulas, I will share the link in the description. If I change the marks for this student you can see status has been changed from pass to fail. And grades are also changing. Ok let's move to actual topic, that is VLOOKUP. Here it is very easy to find the marks for any student. Because data is very small. But if you have huge amount of data it will be very difficult to find the results. So for that, let us create a format. Like student name, total marks, pass or fail status and grade. Now here we want these three values against student name. So for VLOOKUP formula we will type equal sign under total marks column. Then VLOOKUP, parentheses open, now here you can see, we need lookup value. That is student name. So, as we will search student name in A19 cell, so select this cell, then comma. Next is table array, means where our data is located and it will search for us, so we will select this whole table. Then again comma, next is column index number means which column value you want in return when you type student name. As you know, we want total marks here. So we will count and type the number of column that is 7, again comma, last is type of match. As we want exact match, so we will type 0. Parentheses close. Press enter. Here when we type the name of a student for example student A, it will be returned with the total marks, that is 290. As we already discussed, you can copy this formula for whole column by dragging the lower right corner of this cell. Now you can add more student names. Next VLOOKUP is for status. Again under status heading type equal sign, VLOOKUP, then parentheses open, lookup value that is student name cell. So again select first cell under name heading. Comma, then select the table array, means whole table for search. Comma, then column number which value you want to be shown in this cell. Comma, then 0 for exact match, parentheses close. Drag this formula for whole column. Do the same for grades. Repeat these steps to ensure that no confusion is left. Now next topic is drop down list of data. For that select the cell where you want your list to be shown. Then go data tab, then select data validation. From setting tab, click on drop down menu, and select list option. Now click on this table option for source. Select the list of data you want to be shown in list format. Here in this case, the name of students. So I will select this whole range. Now again expand this pop-up table. You can see the range you have selected. And click OK. Here you can see the name list of all the students. Now again in next cell. Type equal sign, V lookup, parentheses open, select the cell having drop-down list. Then select the table range, column index number, then 0 for exact match. Now just select the name of students from drop down list. And results will be changed accordingly. Now the next trick is if you want to copy this formula for a whole row, what will you do? You will drag this formula cell to the right. But when you drag, this will show not available error. Why? Because here you can see the cell numbers has been changed. First thing is the column index number is same for all the cells that is 7. So in order to auto-change this number when we drag this formula for each next cell, 
We will type a formula for column index number instead of just typing 7. Type column. Then parentheses open. Select column index number. Parentheses close. Press enter. First problem is solved. But again when you drag this formula. Again same error will be shown. For that we will lock the all other cell numbers. Just put dollar sign before all parts of the cells number. This is the actual solution for this error. Like here. Press enter. That's it. Now if you drag this formula. It will work properly for whole row without any error. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more Excel tutorials and updates. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your colleagues or friends who might find it useful. Thank you for watching this introduction to Excel VLOOKUP tutorial. By following these steps, you now have a clear understanding of how to use VLOOKUP effectively in your Excel workflows. Remember to practice and explore different scenarios to strengthen your skills.